Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of the game. Last time we fought one of uh, the uh, court's agents and uh, the mission beforehand we freed Isaac, the DLC hero who has so far been quite an addition to the team. I personally like that he can we we now skilled uh, at least one skill for him which is a repel and that means uh, he can crowd control as well on range which is good personally like that uh, we do have another crowd control here with a bull on anna sophia which is good and then of course we got ingrid who is uh, just waltzing through the enemy like it's no man's business let's go to the world map we put uh, two of our agents onto secretive missions. Uh, that works very well so far. And now it's the question, the age-old question, what to do next. <clears throat> and I think we need another merchant before we're getting another agent. Of course, getting another agent is not a bad idea. Because that would also give us a lot of skill points and maybe a wider roster of agents. But here's the thing. At the moment I can only see like two spy missions and then what are the other agents doing the entire time? You see what I'm saying? I, uh, it seems that we're almost overloading. But maybe I'm misunderstanding uh, something. Uh, it's difficult. Purnima the sharpshooter might be good as well. But for now let's go uh, and uh, get the cartomancer in china so we're signing our agents um, as such we do have isaac coming in with triple molotov we got anna sophia with a lot of supportive gear and her new belt that allows ap recovery on supportive gear and then finally we got ingrid with a pretty hefty um, 50 physical damage thanks to all of uh, the uh, skills that we uh, put into her her physical damage isn't bad at all, plus she has 7 speed, uh, so she's a force to be reckoned with. Let's jump into the mission. Fodder for the cannons. Let's go. Recruit Madame May, the cartomancer. Okay, well, should not be a problem. Before we're doing something, let's just check the entrance area here. The end of the alleyway, a door cracks open, single um, eye glitters in the shadowed entrance, a lurid exotic blue, then the door clicks shut and all is still. Okay. Got a stress remedy. I think we're uh, going to drop this here and we're taking the stress remedy because why not? Seems like a good addition to our team. The lock on the tool chest has been forced open. The tools uh, within rummaged through and scattered at the bottom of the chest. Uh, the hidden compartment lies open and empty. So someone has been here. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, second wind up there. Unfortunate. Anna Sophie. It's also more a saboteur, so she can't get up there. Oh, too bad. That's the escape route. Almost. They should buy you some time. Okay. 
close. I didn't want to trigger. <laughs> Got that patrol nicely out of the way. So far things are working in our favor. Second wind. Oh, that's not bad. Anna Sophia moves over here. Let's just keep our group together for now. This way. <clears throat> wow. Okay, lots of enemies. Stay here, please. Drawn from aristocratic stock. Magisters command the loyalty of all the court servants. They carry portable Marteau technology and will use it to summon allies. Okay, so Magisters are summoners. I see. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Got a little bit of ether. So we need to get uh, these magisters down. Don't want to. Uh, I don't want one of them uh, to continue summoning here. Okay, I don't know where that guy went. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Good. All we need to do is wait until he's kind of here. Then we hit him. And then we should be good. Should cause some trouble. These guys took a lot of stress, interesting. All right, keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it collected. You break easily. Oh, more are coming. Cool. Let's wait for the right moment. If we play our cards well, this could be a slam for the ages. Just need to wait a tiny bit longer. Come on. The lights out. Not bad. I'm um, all things considered, we almost killed all of them. The electricity zombies not, but the rest. Cool. Listen. Covering fire. Well, that's a perfect start for covering fire. But somehow we didn't deal any damage. Oh wow. Almost no damage? Four to twenty four. Hmm. Something was awkwardly wrong. Okay, let's do this. Trumpet, okay. I know we can. Cool. And we still got the bull. 
Bam. This guy is knocked down, so all we need to do is take care of those three here. Okay, cool. Too bad, boys. Two of them immediately go down. Third one gets pushed against the wall. <coughs> That's good. And now since no one is here to retaliate, we can simply do that. Enemies are getting back up. We're at full heat, I like it. Back, you dog. One repelling shot, knocks him down and massive damage. And... Um, hmm. These guys seem to be super uh, resistant against physical attack uh, and, and against ranged attacks. One down. Two down. Pushing this one into uh, into the wall. Good. Let you guys know. get your you signature abilities more. back Healing and are fully healed. Been able to do. The Divine Mother has blessed me. Okay, let's make contact. You're the one Locke sent us to find, aren't you? The Undrawn Hand. I sense it upon you. You must be Locke's people. Take me to him. Alright, we find a lot of lore and also this mode here, which is good, <coughs> but we're not finding any other loot. That, on the other hand, is unfortunate. Good. Stay Everybody, here. please do your thing. Ingrid kind of moves over here. So you got yourself in the court's crosshairs. Not very smart of you, was it? Locke asked me to examine the undrawn hand. Then these oxen attacked me. It doesn't take a seer to figure it out. My Good, let's see if this here thing. is going to kill someone. Answer yes. Very good. Fabulous. We're moving further. Well, this is going to be noisy. All right. So moving here. Come on. You guys should be triggered. Uh, no one ran into it. Unfortunate.
frag grenade. Uh, we're dropping that. We're picking up the frag grenade. And all I need is someone to move to here. There we go. That's it. Perfect. Everybody's knocked down. That's a triple knockdown. Enemies are slightly alerted, but that's okay. And let's just start tearing the enemies apart. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Talk, talk, talk. More damage. Uh, we build up heat. That is good. Uh, got you in you with an extra action. Sure, if potentially buffed us first. Ha, the old man couldn't do that, could he? What do we have here? Move, the Weaver. Enemy in the target area loses speed. Okay. And then... Inflict two stress on surrounding enemies. Okay, I see. We move up. Stress is not going to affect anyone. Uh, but she has really cool abilities. Artemis. Good. Well, how about taking her down? Don't carry on so. Into taking him down. Into taking him down. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, that's unfortunate. Two hit points. Good. Fantastic. Uh, then... Hit into knocking uh, down again. It's all about the knockdowns, guys. All about the knockdowns, I'm telling you. Killer Instinct, and it seems we're not done yet. Uh, let's vent. Heat is cleared. And we're moving. Cool. We still have um, stuff up here, but we can't really climb up there. We're moving. These guys can't react because they are just arriving. So, big fat overwatch here. Followed by a move into a another big fat overwatch. And can we overwatch even? No, but we can evade. And just literally end the turn you want a piece of me too eh no you don't you won't 
want a taste? Oh, missed shot. Okay, that's unfortunate. Herald for everyone. Cool. So we're inspired. That's good. Um, we would need to reload, but that's okay. Confirm reload. We're taking this guy here out with um, the bull, which, by the way, is much better than I would have given it uh, credit for. Good. We're taking that other guy out with a knockdown kick. Good job. Another hit. And uh, for him, we're moving to here. So next turn we can fully uh, go. Uh, stress? Sure, why not? Maybe we can actually kill someone with stress. Remember how I mentioned uh, that's likely not uh, not happening because we can't inflict stress. Apparently Mrs. Vi can and she's the master of debuffing. Cool, I like to see that. Unfortunately it takes a little bit too long. All of her abilities are on cooldown. I mean, she has a lot of debuffs, don't get me wrong. But after just one round, she's, like, essentially empty. Nice. Good hits. Armor is shredded. And now this guy has too much stress, so bam, we can we can take it down. Okay, what do we have over here? Stress flask. I think stress flasks aren't bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Good. Anything else we have missed? One thing that I learned in this game is you always want to check every angle. Even if it is quote unquote just lore. A souvenir. Good. And I think we got it all. Firebomb. Nice but not necessary. Up there we would have a few more resets with another second wind. We made it! Now to introduce you to dear old Uncle Pelham. If I can just see the undrawn hand, then all of this will be worth it. Good, we upgraded uh, to another frag grenade, frag grenade two to be precise, more damage. Good, we got seven skill points out of it. Well done. And uh, two options. Melee ability deals damage and shreds armor. Okay. And debuff inflicts two stress on surrounding enemies. That's actually not too bad. Um, and it's the upgraded version. Takes thirty percent less damage. I like the I like uh, the BMOth. 
Uh, he's not really in the middle of enemies, but sometimes enemies are coming and then this here could be a good replacement, so sure, why not? Weak. I won't make their mistakes. Club isn't bad either. I mean, give someone effectively uh, who elsewise wouldn't have it a melee attack. Can uh, uh, can discard and therefore get more uh, ink. So we got more toe down. What did you find out there? Lots of resources. I don't know what the healing resources are for yet. Cord activity, okay. Nicastro, unfortunately. Another minus one threat event. Okay, well, we. Look, we did very well. Nicastro continues to be an issue. Potentially need to work against uh, them. Um, let's first of all start with the su suppliers. Uh, sorry, allies is what I meant to say. Uh, we got a bit of ether. So we got um, Madame May now with um, stress remedy and stress f uh, flasks are now unlocked. Okay. Increases the chance of the uncommon uh, card from the undrawn hand. That's good. Uh, of course, better earlier. Increase the chance of a rare card. So I think this might be something like go all that way. Receive plus one additional undrawn hand card. Cool. Significantly increases the chance for uncommon card. Significantly increases the chance for rare card. Um, receives yet another card. Uh, serpentine charm. Self stress redu uh, reduction. Okay. Agents have more stress. Uh, then we do have characters can now equip another card. That's actually pretty damn good. But we need this KA resource, which we do not have. Max card level raised to four. And what's this here? Self buff accessory. Upon suffering a stress break, agents next attack would. Um, not that good. So it's all, Madame May is all about the undrawn uh, hand. So here's the deal. I think we're we want those additional cards. And where's that uh, f next card? This year. Mm. You see what you look for. Good. We're taking better cards. We still have uh, mindfulness or so more stress. That generally is a passive buff, which is good. And more cards that we're getting. So that will also get us more ink, naturally. And I think if we want to really focus on those cards, this is not a bad, uh, mm, it's not a bad upgrade. The first upgrades are no brainers anyways, because uh, of how the upgrades scale over uh, the different tiers, right? So you basically would want to have the first two tiers with the passive buffs anyways. There's no disadvantage in spending the next three points, for instance, to get uh, to level four potential cards and to create more efficient, um, more efficient healing, uh, uh, healing items. So yeah, sure, that makes sense. Um, we do have nine spell point, uh, skill points, and I think we wanted to go down. Uh, this route here, killing an enemy, cooldowns are reduced, uh, and there was another one, which is uh, Anna Sophie gains a plus fifty percent chance to reduce uh, her ability uh, cooldowns. With oh yeah, and we wanted to do this here because we wanted to test if she can essentially inspire herself, because if the answer to that is yes, uh, then she can use this here and motivate together which would be great. Uh, extra uh, bleeding, not so good. Max stress, well, it's fine. We haven't had any stress breaks, uh, but I'm also not sure if we're f doing well or not so well in terms of fighting. We could go for another 
uh, melee overwatch uh, attack, so blade storm hits twice, and then we're essentially going for femme fatale at some point. Uh, this is not a bad idea, but I also want uh, the eight points here uh, because having a chance to 50% uh, chance to do cooldown reduction and then um, also upon killing you reduce the cooldown even further and that's not bad that's not bad at all lots of cooldown reduction triggers essentially which incentivizes you to actually shoot with her so maybe I'll keep the skill points and hope that we can get these uh, abilities next I don't think that uh, the second um, blade storm attack will make or break anything again? here. Vitality gear two. Okay, uh, the later gear definitely costs a lot of um, a lot of uh, supplies. Damage talisman. Yeah, we're just keeping supplies for now. Uh, we're just keeping blessings f uh, stuff for now. Sure, there will be more. Max ammo. Good. We're getting another fate event. The Marteau World Expo, the event of the century, uh, the future made a present. Yet another opportunity for Trace Marteau to put uh, the public under his spell. But behind the scenes, he probably conducting, uh, conducting other business, selling weapons, bribing politicians, cutting corners in a way that uh, will put his supporters at risk. What better time to pull back the curtain and show the world who Marteau really is? We could take minus two here. Uh, do we need intel? We ha I think we have enough intel, but reducing uh, reducing uh, the enemy is generally really really good. So that'll happen. Minus two here. Okay, we're going to do this mission because. Um, we're getting a bonus reward uh, and we're greatly reducing the threat. I mean, just that in itself isn't bad. Nine skill points, of course, is good as well. Um, search expedition. Ready to get your hands dirty. Okay, someone is going to do that and another recruitment mission. I hope it's worth the Not bad either. Yeah, we can't let uh, Nikasto just go unpunished. This one here wouldn't be bad either. I wonder though, why does this here, okay? Uh, where we are getting a skill point less, reduce influence so much less compared to that. Hmm. Okay. Three. Uh, defeating a, a sky and give, will give us three additional ether. So essentially, this here is up to five, maybe even up to eight ether. Um, okay. Okay. I would absolutely love to get more agents, but it seems that the game heavily punishes you uh, for doing that. Can only run one mission at a time. Hmm. Well, I think that sharpshooter needs to wait uh, one more uh, mission because I don't want Nicastro to get that huge, huge benefit. If we're going to go here, then cool. Strum 
uh, will be reduced even further. But I think this here is um, would actually be one of the best outcomes. We're getting up to 8 ether, if I'm understanding it correctly, 5 plus 3, or maybe the plus 3 are already included in the 5 overall that are suggested here. But even 5 ether would be good because that's permanent upgrades that uh, can never be taken away from us. This here would be a great mission uh, and we'll hit Nicastro even further. But uh, that one, hmm, it seems like uh, you can't really control all three of uh, them, not efi not efficiently. So that's a bit of a problem. And Nicastro is making too much progress, so uh, we need to work against them. This here would completely nullify the pro uh, progress. Uh, but this here gives way more ether, so they will would make two progress, which I think we could kind of live with. Uh, we need more agents. Haven't played the game, uh, so I don't know how important it is to have a deep pool of agents. Of course, multiple agents good, but my problem is you can't do two missions at once. Anyways, right? I think I will, uh, that's one of the seldom things where I will just Google not to get uh, some sort of info, but I want to make sure that I'm not missing uh, the ability to, to run two missions at the same time. Anyways, that's going to happen the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like Lamplighter's Leak, uh, then leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.